it can cause meningitis, which is a brain infection, and that can cause sudden death. My name is Shannon, I'm 47, and this nose makes me look like I am the Wicked Witch of the South, Carolina. I've always wanted to get my nose fixed since I was a teenager. It was a family nose, it has a little bump on it, and it's very round at the tip. In 2005, I decided to give myself a breast augmentation, and everything went fabulous. I loved my breasts. They turned out great. So I had no reservations with scheduling a rhinoplasty surgery, deciding to use the same physician that did my breast augmentation. It did not go well. When I went into surgery, there were no red flags. The aha moment was after all the packing had been removed, it was longer and almost hanging over the top of my lip. So we scheduled a revision rhinoplasty in 2011. I knew immediately it wasn't fixed. He made my nose fatter. This is the result, and it's not good. I do feel that when people are talking to me, they're looking at my nose. It's just an ugly nose. I did a face swap with my daughter, and um, immediately she said, switch it back, Mom, you have a witch nose. <laughs> oh, sorry. And as much as my friends and family try to assure me that I'm still beautiful, I know what I see. Let me take a look. It's a little bit of a deviated septum. So you don't know if the doctor did a septoplasty. I you don't know? know that. Cosmetically, a few things happening. There's a dissociation between the bones and the lower half of your nose. Clearly. So the lower half of your nose is made out of cartilage. So we're gonna work on getting it straight. Now the tip, that's the hardest part. Your tip is a little bit narrow here. I wanna make it a little bit wider. Okay. Less beaky, less witchy. Before my surgery, my nose made me look like the Wicked Witch of the South. It was long, crooked, had a bump, and a plunging tip that horrified my daughter. Now, my nose fits my face. It's shorter, straight, and the tip doesn't droop. My name is Brandon. I like long walks on the beach. I enjoy sushi, and my nose is crooked as shit. I have an identical twin brother. We were raised in Hawaii, pretty much connected at the hip. We would surf every single day after school, sometimes <laughs> did school and go to go surfing. I decided to move from Hawaii when I was about 24 years old. Landed in San Diego and my brother was still in Hawaii. It was tough being away from him. We actually had a lot of phone conversations. We would talk a lot and then he decided he was gonna fix his nose because needless to say, our noses were too big for our face. There couldn't have been a time in our lives that I felt more not like a twin than when my nose was huge and he had this button nose and we didn't look almost anything alike. When you have that connection to break that connection, it's almost like I lost my brother because I didn't look anything like him anymore. And met with the doctor and I said, look, I want to look exactly like this. This is my twin brother. Here's the picture. Just copy that, right? And so I thought it was going to be a no-brainer, right? About two months after I had the surgery done, I started to really see that there was going to be issues. As the swelling's going down, it's starting to just go east, just, just slowly but surely, and it didn't stop. I called the doctor, hey, this thing is crooked, I'm really kind of getting anxious about it. And he said, oh yeah, we can fix it, yeah, no problem. But he was going to charge me again to correct his mistake. I just decided to research other doctors about the problem was, no one has been able to take my case or want to take my case. A doctor I saw in La Jolla, best of the best, he said, I, I just don't, I don't know, know how to fix it. I mean, which I thought was crazy. This whole nose job experience that was supposed to bring my brother and I closer together, make us look like twins again, actually ended up making us look even more different. It makes me pretty, pretty pissed off. Let's see. Brandon. <laughs> Correct. OK, we got that. Nice to meet you. Dr. Nelson. Hey, Brandon. Brian, Brian, nice to meet you. Brian. Patients will often bring in a picture of a nose they like mm -hmm. or a feature they like from someone else. Right. And almost always, it's not doable because the basic underlying structure is sure. so different. But with you guys, it potentially is doable. Brian's nose can give me a revision roadmap for Brandon's nose, or maybe not. Who knows? Lower your chin just a little bit. OK, so here are the bones. So the bones are short, but they're pretty straight, it yeah. looks like, right? Yeah. It's the rest of this. The yeah. septum is deviated. So if I can do this with a piece of rib, and let's just say 85% improvement, what do you think? I think that's awesome. I think 85, 90%, I can live with that. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm ready to look like my brother again. You know, if they have to take my left ear off to give me a better nose, I guess we'll just focus on that. Before my surgery, my nose was crooked as It was completely deviated to the right. 
and people didn't think that uh, my brother and I were twins, and I hated the way that felt. Now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my brother and I are more connected than ever. I'm excited to live the life that I've been missing. My name's Katie, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm 41 years old. My nose, it has bumps on each side, a crease down the center, and nostrils that are sky high. Looks like a hot mess. When I got into high school, at that point in time, I'd reached six foot one. I've always liked to keep an active lifestyle, and I love sports. Within four years, I had broken my nose four times, and my mom would always just say, well, let's put ice on it and see how it is. Well, over time, my nose had become so wide and had a hump, that's when we knew it's time to go talk to a doctor. We had remembered that my friend had a birthmark removed, so my mom found out the name of the plastic surgeon. Looking back on it, I think to myself, removing a birthmark is a whole lot different than having rhinoplasty the day of surgery. The doctor suddenly came up with a whole new plan and said, well, I think your daughter's nose doesn't look that normal, so we're gonna have to pinch it in a little bit near the tip. And my mom distrusted the doctor. She was put on the spot at the last minute, and my mom was kind of like, okay, if that's what you think you're supposed to do, then, then go ahead and do that. When the bandages finally came off, my nose looked pinched in. Then over the years, these bumps on the tip of my nose started to appear it continued to get worse and worse and worse. And then it started to collapse even more and pinch in even more. I get worried that if I continue living with this nose, is it gonna continue to collapse? Because that would be kind of frightening. When I look in the mirror when I'm getting ready in the morning, I wish I could just take a razor blade and go and then get those bumps off. The bumps that Katie is complaining about are called bassa. These are the cut edges of her tip cartilage. And as time goes on, they can and usually do get worse. It sounds like you want to basically try to get a normal looking nose. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the exam room yeah. and take a look at your nose. Katie's nose has problems everywhere. The bones have been overdone, the middle vault is narrow, the tip cartilage has been over resected, ailer retraction, a bifid, columella, and bassa from an over resected tip, and a deviated septum. 75% of your tip cartilage has been removed aggressively, oh <laughs> which is a huge mistake. Yeah. So what do I have to do to fix this? I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna remove all the deviated cartilage inside your nose. Okay. But now you're still pinched. Right, right. So I'm gonna add cartilage to widen the middle part of your nose. To pull the nostrils down, I'm gonna have to actually add tissue to your nostrils, pieces of skin and cartilage that I'm taking from inside your ear. Mm. For me to make your tip look normal again, I have to make it bigger. I feel like I wanna cry, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm just scared of making the wrong decision. Before my surgery with my nose, it was pinched in. There was a crease that went down the center. There was the bumps on each side. It was also a constant reminder of the snap decision that my mother had to make under pressure. Now, thanks to Dr. Nassif, my mother's guilt has been lifted. My nostrils are lower, my balsa are removed from my nose, and the crease is gone as well. Hey. Michael, Dr. Nassif, nice to meet I'm you. Michael, Terry Debrill. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Kristen. Kristen, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. I haven't had surgery in 15 years, so I'm ecstatic to see Dr. Debro and Dr. Nassif. Can you start in the beginning with us? About three years of age, I smacked my nose right here, caught the bridge of it on a bed, with the actual bed frame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It wasn't soft. And uh, it cracked it uh, after about 15 years of it just crooked. Before I moved off to college, I decided you'd get it fixed. Then it became a party trick. What became a party trick? Okay, I'll do it first right here. It goes completely flat. And then if I go sideways? I've seen noses like this before. It's called a saddle nose deformity, which is collapse of this part of the nasal dorsum right here. Now, how does this affect you? We're moving into, you know, that next stage in life, and, well, I'm hoping so. It's on my vision uh, board, you know, a little uh, raised. Uh, um, yeah, I noticed that she was like this. You know, uh, no. um, There's nothing on <laughs> My biggest concern is he started having this yellow um, fluid come out of his nose, and I started researching it, and it's, to me, it sounded like it's brain fluid. And for me, that's a major concern. Yeah, brain fluid coming out of the nose in general is a major concern. Let's go to the exam room. OK. And let's go take a peek. The reason we're so interested as to whether Michael has brain fluid leaking out of his nose is because the nose has a lot of bacteria. If that brain fluid gets infected, it can cause meningitis, which is a brain infection. 
and that can cause sudden death. So here's what we have to do. We have to make a little incision right here, do an open rhinoplasty. We're gonna have to make you a graft where you have enough support right in the bottom and the top part here. We're gonna use tissue from Michael's body to make a nice implant. We're gonna put it on his dorsum. It gives him more projection, it helps lengthen the nose. Perfect. Before my surgery, all the cartilage from my nose was missing. I was constantly teased about it and it became a party trick that I hated doing. Now, because of the surgery, my nose has the structure that I've always wanted. My name is Cindy and I'm from Coleman, Alabama. I'm a police officer, but don't you dare call me a pig. My side profile looks terrible. My nose is just flat. My twin sister, Jennifer, and I come from a very large, extended family. We always hung around our cousins and always played. When I was five years old, my papa had made this horse swing, and my cousin comes and cuts the rope as I'm swinging on it, and I fall face first to the ground and broke my nose. I'm still mad at my cousin to this day. Had it not been for that, I wouldn't have all these problems. <laughs> That accident changed the shape of my nose. So when I was 12 years old, my mother decided that she was gonna schedule me for a rhinoplasty surgery. She drives me to the doctor and he looks at it and he says my cartilage and things, that things weren't fully developed and that my structure would change. But my mom had told me that you're going for this surgery. You did not question my mother. <laughs> that was not the person that you wanted to question in my household. After the rhinoplasty, my nose was really, really wide, and it was really, really flat. Jennifer and I weren't quite looking like identical twins anymore, and it just bothers my sister and I because we're so proud of being twins. So finally, a couple of years ago, I decided that it was time to do something about my nose. And then when I told Jennifer what I really wanted to do, she recommended a surgeon. He was pretty nice, and he seemed to know what he was talking about. When I was waking up, I remember him telling me that it was a little bit more difficult of a case than what he was originally anticipating, and so he had to get someone to come and help him finish the surgery. And then as I started to heal, my nose got really, 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 really red and swollen. It all of a sudden looked like a little tiny ball on the end of my nose. And then I noticed an indention across the top. I had absolutely no side profile. I felt frustrated, it made me angry. I thought, here's chance number two and it's a bad experience again. That's tight. They did. Very tight, tight. The side walls of the nostrils in Cindy's nose are tight. That is what's gonna make this nose hard because how am I gonna increase your projection? All right, let's talk. Right now, just regarding lowering it. Yes. The limiting factor there is the skin. It needs to go from here down to here. Okay. So it needs about five or six millimeters, at least. Okay. Jennifer, turn your head that way. Let's look at your profile for a minute. So she has a profile. She does. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Okay. It's not gonna be me, it's gonna be you. If your skin doesn't stretch, there's nothing I can do. I can't add anything to it, I can't change it. Basically, there'd just be nothing I can do to make her nose look better. What would you say to that? Uh, it sounds crazy, but I would still want it done. Why? because I hate the way it looks. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. what's up? How are you? You guys ready to go to work now? You are so pretty. Oh, you look so pretty. Thank you. Cindy looks so gorgeous in her flat suit today. She looks 10 years younger. I mean, I'm jealous now. <laughs> now the whole twin thing is this bag. We team now. <laughs> Before my surgery, I had a flat pug nose with no profile. But thanks to Dr. Nassif, my tip has been lowered and I actually have projection. I would love to give a huge thank you, a huge thank you to Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubrow for all that you did for me.